Hi, welcome back. Today's video is a casual kind of like vlog style video where I just walk you through um, what the day is like on the day you get a chemical peel. Um, as you can see, this is the after of the first day. Um, we're just going to kind of go back in time and I hope you enjoy this. Today is my second peel and I'm doing a pre-peel check-in just to show what my face looks like before. So this is my post peel check-in. Um, this is literally right after I got my peel. Like I'm just now in the car, I haven't even left yet. You can tell my skin is looking a little bit orange. It's going to continue to darken um, and then we'll do the post peel treatment four hours after um, after 920 so yeah it is four hours after my initial peel application so now it is time for me to do my first at home post peel care <laughs> and I'm going to walk you through that process. She handed me this baggie with all of my stuff in it. We have the little card with the directions on it. In the packet that um, my, the esthetician gave me, it contains all of the post-care items and this is the cleanser. So I'm gonna cleanse my face and then I have to gently pat the skin dry. And then I need to apply the first peel, post peel towelette, which is this right here. Then I have to wait 10 minutes and then apply a thin layer of the Derm Post Treatment Repair Cream. Okay, I have washed my face. As you can see, it looks like a disaster. Um, you can see where um, my pigmentation is just getting darker, where all that redness is. Hopefully, that means those spots are gonna peel really good. Okay, I'm going to pat dry my skin. So now that my skin is dry, I'm going to apply the post peel towelette which is in this package. It's really important to read them carefully because there is also the Precision Plus Post Peel Towelette and you don't wanna get these mixed up. So the last time I got the peel, I tried to be careful with my skin when doing the Post Peel Towelettes, but from talking to other people and watching other people's videos with the VI Peel, uh, you need to be a little bit more vigorous with this wipe than I was originally. It says to use gentle pressure, um, but I wasn't really using any pressure the last time. And interestingly enough, other people who've gotten this peel, their directions said to rub vigorously. So we're gonna try to do like a middle ground. I'm not gonna rub too vigorously, but I'm gonna um, use a little bit more pressure than I did last time. Also, the last time I did this, these were pretty dry and this is actually looking really juicy. So maybe I got an old packet last time. And as a reminder, this post peel towelette has alcohol, ascorbic acid, and retinoic acid in it. Honestly, the last time, I don't feel like my face peeled that much. So I'm wanting to make sure that I get a really good peel this time. I've heard rumors that if you don't use the post-treatment repair cream that your skin will peel better. Um, I don't know if that is true, but I'm not entirely sure I wanna risk it. And this is a hydrocortisone cream, which also helps to minimize the itching um, from 
the peel. Um, but yes, we still have to wait and then we have to put this on. And I'm gonna, I am gonna put this on. I'm not gonna like play it fast and loose with the directions. So it has been 10 minutes. My face feels dry from the solution and I'm going to put on this hydrocortisone cream. It does make my skin feel a little bit greasy. So I try not to put too much on, to be honest. And there you go. That is the four hour post peel skincare. It is time for the bedtime skincare routine. It's important to do this one hour before bedtime because there's some waiting in between stops. So the first step is to obviously use the cleanser like we did before. Then you pat your face dry. Then you use the Precision Plus towelette. Now this is different than the towelette we used before. After using this towelette, we have to wait 30 minutes and then we have to use a second towelette. Okay. After that, we have to wait 10 minutes and then we have to apply the post treatment repair cream. So this is why you have to make sure you do it early enough. Um, that way you can have enough time to have everything dry completely. So I have washed my face and now I'm going to make sure to dry and then I'm going to use the Precision Towelette. It has kojic acid, hydroquinone, hydrocortisone, vitamin C, and retinoic acid. I will say I'm starting to feel tightness in my skin around my mouth, which last time I got a peel is where it started to peel first. Um, so the tightness isn't exactly surprising. Now that it's been 30 minutes from the Precision Plus Post Peel Towelette, it is time for the, the Post Peel Towelette. Now we're gonna give that 10 minutes to dry and we're going to put on the Post Treatment Repair Cream. Since I'm trying to get this posted, I'm going to keep things brief. If you're interested in seeing more about the VI peel, I do have a video where I went in depth and I showed uh, the process over a week and I answered some frequently asked questions. I'm going to go ahead and link that in the cards. Again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and until next time, bye.